let's talk some pitching, move to our fourth topic here. Which team has the pitching advantage? Let's start with the starting pitching. And how surprised are you that the Phillies aren't starting their number one guy tomorrow, Wheeler, against your brother? I think the question of who has the, the advantage with starting pitching, Yeah. the answer is the Astros. Yeah. But it is a lot closer than people think, at least at the top of the rotation, which is where it matters big time in the playoffs. You need three studs. And I will take Justin and Framber Valdez and Lance McCullers, but – on the other side, you have Zach Wheeler, Aaron Nola, and Ranger Suarez. And the first two of those, Wheeler and Nola, are unbelievable. Yep. And I know the last start that Aaron Nola had in the regular season came against the Houston Astros, and he went six and two-thirds, didn't give up a run, gave up two hits. He was phenomenal the last time he faced this team. So they're, they're all really good. But the advantage here goes to the Astros, their rotation this year. Framber Valdez has been – one of the best pitchers in baseball this year and it continues to be one of the most, probably the most underrated pitcher in baseball, specifically because of Justin. Yeah. And, you know, when you look at certain teams, you point out the ace and you talk about the ace. So if Framber Valdez is anywhere else, he's putting up ace-like numbers. He broke the all-time quality start stretch in, in a season record this year. He was great. So Justin and Framber back-to-back, I'll put up against anybody. But Zach Wheeler is 1A and Nola is 1B, which is why I like your question of why are you starting 1B? Yeah. You have you have game one. And you've, you're rested. You have your guy. He's on normal rest because yeah. he started the Phillies last game. But exactly. because of this break, you have Zach Wheeler ready to go in game one. I don't I don't know what why they're starting Nola. And, yes, Nola is great, and he threw great against the Astros the last start. But you can't compete with what Zach Wheeler has done in the playoffs this year. Every single start has been phenomenal. I think it's a little bit of overmanaging. I do. Which we has been a hot topic throughout the postseason, leading into the postseason. It's something we see managers do that just makes you kind of scratch your head. Why? Why, why not stick with the formula that got you here and got you the success to get here? Well, right. You have game one of the World Series. Why are you playing, like, matchups here? Yeah. Like, start your guy. You have your guy. Yeah. Your guy is Zach Wheeler. He's been the most dominant pitcher for a while for the Phillies, and this year has been really good. So I think it's a little bit of a chess match. Like, okay, we'll save him for game two. We still have Aaron Nola able to go game one, but we don't want Wheeler to go against Justin. And for me, that's overmanaging. Put your team, who I mentioned earlier, they're Goliath. It's yeah. a great team. Oh, yeah. Put up your best against the Astros' best and see where the chips fall. And your best is Zach Wheeler. And I'm a little surprised, and I think it's a little too much of overmanaging that Zach Wheeler isn't starting game one. So we'll see. But I, I do think an important part to that is this series is built in, in an interesting way where if you're the Phillies, you have to win mm -hmm. one of these two games. Oh, yeah. Right? Because you don't have the rotational depth. So at least the rotational depth that the Astros do. Okay. You have to win one of these two games in order to really have a shot in this series I think the Astros are the better team on paper they're the more they're the team that is favored however they are both great teams but the advantage comes on the pitching side as we talked about the pitching is where the Astros have the biggest advantage and as you get later into the rotation the advantage gets even greater okay so, so let's, let, win let's dive into that the bullpen okay yeah. you, you said rotation but I'm, I'm thinking later in the game bullpen here yep. which team has the bigger advantage Astros or Phillies this is the biggest advantage in the entire series Kay. and it's the Astros bullpen over the Phillies yeah. bullpen the Astros bullpen has been the best bullpen in baseball all year long the only bullpen with an ERA under three and really they weren't even yeah. that close to a three nobody else was there so the Astros bullpen has been great the Phillies bullpen not good no so that's a, that that right there which you just brought up is the biggest difference in the entire when you look at these two teams on paper, you can mix and match and say, yeah, you know what? Like these two teams, not when you get to the bullpen, making it even more important that Wheeler, Nola, and Suarez go deep into a game. Yeah, that, you literally took the words out of my mouth. I'm like, how important? That's how they're going to win a game. Their starting guys have to go six or seven yep. if they want to get a have game. Have to. They, they have to. There's no, there's no way around it. Yes, they can have – eight and nine come in they'll be okay yeah but they have some guys yeah. back there the Astros have 
five guys they can yep. turn to in the bullpen and be like, we feel great about this. The Phillies have one or two. Okay. And that's a big difference. That is a huge difference. Yep. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.